Welcome back to Retro Depot. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Super 101 Nintendo Multi Cartridge that I got on eBay. My son this year tasked me with purchasing my own Father's Day gift because he and I do not share the same interests. So he told me that it was my job to pick what I wanted for Father's Day. And since I would just basically end up giving him the money to purchase it anyways, um, he suggested that I just go ahead and spend my own money. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is. Um, in a, a single-parent household, uh, oftentimes it's not the <laughs> there's not another parent to take the child shopping for things like Father's Day, Mother's Day, Christmas, whatever. So uh, the parents typically end up buying their own gifts or giving money to their kids to uh, uh, go buy those gifts. It is what it is. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not too worried about it. He basically said, "Hey, um, instead of me, you know, buying you something for Father's Day, uh, why don't you just go pick something out?" So I picked this and two other multi carts out. Um, one for the Nintendo uh, Entertainment System, or the NES, or NES, whatever you call it, and then uh, another one for the Sega Genesis. So, having said that, um, I'm really impressed with uh, the multi-cart so far. Um, I have found a couple issues, and we're going to address those, but I'm going to go ahead and power this on. Um, I'm actually going to be recording this on my computer um, and uh, basically capturing the video with my new capture card that I received. Um, I got, I'm going to have a video coming up on that here before too long, but... Um, Let's go ahead and power this on. We'll take a look at the games and kind of the menu format and, and then uh, we'll get into some of the issues that I've had with games and um, after that we'll do a little bit of uh, playing. So uh, let's go ahead and power this on. So it comes up with the first page here and um, one of the things that I've noticed, of course, we'll go ahead and go over uh, some of the problems that I've had uh, as we go through the list of games. One of the things that I've noticed is that whenever you boot this up, it doesn't necessarily come up on the first page. It will come up on the page with the arrow highlighting the game that you last played. And I've taken the cartridge out, I've turned the console off and taken it out, left it sit for hours, put it back in, turn it back on, it still comes up with this. So it's obviously writing something to memory and it remembers the last time or the last game that you played. I guess this would be handy, especially um, considering that maybe you turned your game off and you planned on coming back at a later time. There are games that um, have save states on this game and my understanding with that is is that you may end up having to press down the reset key or the uh, reset button before you actually turn the game off I'm not exactly sure how that works I haven't gotten into that aspect of it yet but um, I'm going to be testing it out and I'll probably end up reporting back in a future video but let's go ahead and take a look at the um, list of games here um, now the first one here Act Racer 2 I will tell you this I have tried and tried and tried and I cannot get this game to work most of the time it uh, just spits out a black screen. Sometimes it um, shows garbage on the uh, screen. Sometimes it shows the uh, uh, little falling uh, logo there for the company that actually uh, designed the game and then it never actually moves off of that. It just kind of dies there. So I think that there's some type of problem with this game and I'm not sure because a lot of people have been having problems with some of these games and these multi cartridges and I've taken a look and it seems like most of them are the ones that actually use SRAM uh, not as a save function but as some other type of just you know memory allocation I think that may have something to do with it and I think that may be the case here but I haven't verified that by looking to see if this game actually uses SRAM or not now um, so we have this we have Adam's Family Values um, don't know what this game is uh, never played it I don't think but um, Batman and Robin Arrow the Acrobat um, Alien 3 Iron Commando, Arachnoid, um, Axley, never played it, um, B.O.B. It's kind of interesting how the menu goes the opposite way of what you would think it would. But um, We have Batman Forever, Batman Returns, Battle Cars, Captain Commando, Captain Novelin, um, never played that one before. K 
caravan shooting. Castlevania, I believe this is um, Castlevania Dracula's Revenge. Uh, Super Castlevania. Choplifter 3. Clay Fighter. Uh, we have Clay Fighter 2, and I believe that's Clay Fighter Tournament uh, Edition. Congo's Caper. Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Cotton Marching something? Don't know. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, cool Spot. The Cybernator. Superman. A Death of Superman. Demolition Man. Demon's Crest. Mutant Chronicle. Doomsday Warrior, Earthworm Jim 1 and 2, Family Feud, Final Fight 1, 2, and 3, and then Final Fight Guy. I'm not sure what this game is. I don't think that I've played it. Um, First Samurai. We have Goof Troop, Gradius 3, which is a fantastic game. That is one of my favorite games on Super Nintendo. Uh... Hagane, I guess that's how you pronounce that. I don't, I don't know what that is. I've never played that game before. Home Alone, Hook, The Hunt for Red October, Hyperzone, Incantation, Indiana Jones. I believe that's Indiana Jones. Um, not sure what this is. Uh, I think that might be International Super Spike Volleyball. Maybe. Not sure. Jeopardy Deluxe, Jeopardy Sports. The King Arthur's something. Uh, King of the Dragons, King of the Monsters, Knights of the Round Table, maybe? I'm not sure, I'm sure what that is. Um, if you know what these games are, feel free to post them below in the comments. Um, Krusty Super Fun House, Last Action Hero, Lawnmower Man, Mystical Ninja. I love that game. I absolutely love uh, the Mystical Ninja. At, even though it is very. Um, Stereotypical. <laughs> uh, Super Mario World. Rockman so Soccer. Um, never actually played Rockman Soccer. I, I know I mentioned in another video that I have played all the Mega Man games on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy and have beaten them all. However, um, I've never played kind of the spin offs like uh, Rockman Soccer or that uh, uh, Rockman uh, Monopoly style game that there is. I've never actually played those much. Um, I'm talking about the actual Mega Man games, you know, the platformers. Uh, Mega Man 7 and Mega Man X. Uh, Mega Man X2 and Mega Man X3 actually have a special chipset that are on the cartridges themselves. So unless you were to be able to emulate that somehow, you're not going to be able to play those games on a multi-cart. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. But, um... It's one of those things, um, I, I don't think it really matters. Uh, Mega Man X2 and 3 are great games, but most likely if you're a big Mega Man fan, you're probably going to own those cartridges anyways. Um, Micro Machines 1 and 2, Ninja Turtles 4, and I'm not sure which Ninja Turtles this is. Um, I don't think I've played this one. Uh, Paperboy 2, Prince of Persia. We have Prince of Persia 2. Uh, Riding Trad, never played that game, I don't think. Uh, this is some type of Looney Tunes games, I think. Um, Robocop versus Terminator, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't think that I've played that one. I'm working off memory from 20 years ago right now. Well, probably 25 years ago. Uh, Rock and Roll Race, Rocky Rodent, Super Smash TV, uh, pretty good game there. Sonic Blast Man, Space Invaders, Space Megaforce, Super Chinese something, don't know, um, Supernova, Super Off-Road, Super R-Type, Super Turrican, and Super Turrican 2, Tetris and Dr. Mario, Tetris 2 and Tetris Attack, Top Gear, Top Gear 2, UN Squadron, Undercover Cops, Wild Gun, Wild Snake, Wild Commander, um, Wings to Spec High, maybe? Zero the Kamikaze, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, if you will. So, um, let's get into this. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the games here. Now, I haven't really been a big player of Super Nintendo games in a long time. Typically, whenever I get into playing any, um, 
Super Nintendo game, it's usually going to be um, one of the Mega Man games because I'm really a big fan of Mega Man. Um, I'll go back and play the games and I'll sit there and, and play the game through um, in one day. You know, let's say I have a weekend day where I don't have anything to do and I'm just kind of feeling lazy, not really wanting to move. I'll sit on the couch and I'll play through the entire, you know, Mega Man X. And I, I've just played it that many times that I kind of know it by the back of my hand. It never loses my interest. So, but let's go down here. Let's uh, play Cas or, uh, Castlevania Dracula's Revenge. So it boots up and we get the Konami logo. Get the little splash screen there. So we're going to go ahead and just start a new game. And you will have to excuse me because I have not really played this game a lot. I think I may have played it in emulation a couple times, but I was never really a huge Castlevania fan. Um, it's a great game, it just never really had my interest. Now granted, I'm actually using uh, real hardware with this, so it may um, look as though Um, it's a little bit grainy. A lot of that's probably due to it not being emulation. I'm actually capturing this from the um, composite video on my uh, Super Nintendo. Looks like I'm getting my ass handed to me. I don't think I was supposed to say that. <laughs> there might be some little kids watching, but but no, it looks perfectly playable. Um, ah, there I died. Okay, so let's take a look at another game here. I'm going to reset the system. So as you can see, it comes right back to exactly where I left off at. Um, let's see here. Another great game from whenever I was a young kid. Contra the Alien Wars. And I'm not going to play very long into all these games. I'm just going to kind of show you that, you know, all these games work for the most part. I haven't had any problems with them. So, I think this game, I can't remember, I think it may actually have a save. Or no, no, it doesn't. It doesn't have a save. I was thinking it did for some reason. But... Sorry, I had to get a cup of coffee. Well, take a drink of my cup of coffee. Ah. So, I always liked this game because it had kind of that unique uh, overhead third person perspective um, mode. I think it was the second or third stage. Um, it's really unique. So, it was kind of a cool game growing up because you just didn't see a lot of stuff like that where it would switch back and forth. So, uh, we're going to take a look at something else here. And as you can see, it comes right back contra Alien War. It's kind of weird. I mean, you can turn it off and go back and it does the same thing. Um, now, I always thought this... I guess I thought whenever I first bought this, that this actually had some of the uh, Final Fantasy games on it. But it actually does not... Um, that's actually quite sad because Final Fantasy 3 is probably my favorite um, RPG 
on the Super Nintendo and to to this day I have never actually been able to play it on hardware. I've only been able to play it in emulation and I'm going to be honest with you if I can ever get my hands on a cartridge like that I just can't justify spending the price for it. Uh, it's just not worth that to me. Um, you know, a lot of people are, you know, collecting these games and they're trying to get these, you know, more rare games. And like I said, I've never actually been able to get Final Fantasy III on hardware. And I'd love to have it, and I was hoping it had it on this, but it does not. Let's take a look at Gradius, though. Gradius III, to be uh, precise. This is another really great game. Um,. Yeah, we'll just go with the default layout here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's go with Force. <laughs> Sounds like something out of, out of Star Wars. I think the first one starts out up here. So this is actually a really fun game. If you like space shooters, uh, this game is going to be one of the best of them. Um, it, just re it just really is a fun game. But it can get hard, I will say that. Alright, let's uh, take a look at something else. Okay, so we have... Um, let's see here. Uh, Mystical Ninja, everybody knows that game. Uh, Mega Man, everybody knows that. Uh, Turtles in Time, Prince of Persia. Uh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to find something that I haven't really played too much. Uh, Super R-Type. Mm. Uh, let's do S Ultimate Mortal Kombat. <laughs> That's a game that I haven't really played much since the 90s. This game was, I don't know, I kind of lost a, uh, kind of lost interest in Mortal Kombat after um, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I know they came out with 4 and they had the uh, arcade games, it just, it never really was my thing after 3. We used to play it quite a bit growing up, but I think it was because you, it would never really get old. You could fight with as many people as you, um, you know, had over at your house and every, every game was different, so... Uh, I don't think this is Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, is it? I thought that one actually had smoke and all of them in it. Maybe. We'll, uh... There we go. Like I said, I haven't played this game in years, so bear with me. He got me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Um, like I said, I just wanted to do a video over this, kind of show you the ins and outs of the system it's, or of the um, uh, interface itself. It's got some really great games. Like I said, I don't think this. Well, we can try it right here. Let's see what it does. See, it comes up with the logo, and then it goes black. And then it doesn't do anything, it just sits there. I can't figure out why. You can try pressing buttons, it doesn't really do anything. So, I guess it's just um, the one game in the system. I think, uh, like if I go back and try to play Adam's Family Values, it well, no, it's working that. Um, it's working there. For some reason, it was messing even trying to play another game afterwards up, but either way. The uh, multi-cart's a good cartridge if you um, like playing on original hardware, but you don't really want to dedicate a ton of money to getting those games. Um, you know, a lot of these games are really just expensive. Um, 
you know, it is what it is. People collect them, and I get it. It's just, uh, for me, I would like to be able to play on the original hardware because I like being able to sit down in front of the TV. I like being able to hold the original controller in my hand. And, um, you know, it's not like emulation. With emulation, even today, there are some games that just aren't properly emulated. Uh, either the sounds are off, the graphics are off, it doesn't understand a couple things in the system, so the original hardware is definitely the way to go. What this cartridge does is it gives you the ability to have, you know, a hundred different games on one cartridge. And yeah, that's probably not going to be all the games that you would like to have, but it's a good start. I mean, it really is a good start. That's 100 games right off the bat. I think this uh, cartridge cost um, $25 or $30. So it really was a good buy. Um, at the end of the day, you probably have at least four or $500 worth of games on this. Um, you know, I, I think that's being pretty conservative, um, you know, because that would only be 4 or $5 a game. There are some games that are fairly cheap in here, but let's assume that each game is going to be a $10 game at the cheapest. Um, yeah, you probably got a thousand dollars worth of games right here. Now you're not having the original, um, you know, cartridge for that game, so it doesn't have the collector's value there. But at the same time, if you just want to play, it would cost you, you know, at least ten dollars a game. Probably, I mean, a lot of these games are probably worth much more than that. I mean, there's probably a couple in here that are over a hundred dollars or more. So at the end of the day, it is a good buy if you just want to be able to play. If you don't want to be able to play on original hardware. It's probably a better bet just to download an emulator because at that point it's not really going to cost you anything except for the power for running your computer, which is probably not going to be a whole lot more than the Super Nintendo to begin with. But um, either way, um, I like it. I hope that you've liked the video. If you have any questions um, or you know uh, have any comments that you want to make about this, uh, drop them below. And of course, uh, we appreciate you. Uh, you know, check out the website. I've got some new stuff coming up in the future for the. GADS microcomputer and I'm also going to be doing a couple more of these videos on reviews for those other two multi carts um, and probably a review on that um, on that um, capture card as well which I'm actually using to record this video and it's pretty clear um, you know I've liked it so far so um, either way uh, again I uh, want to say thanks for uh, taking the time to sit down and watch this and I hope it's not been too boring and we'll see you next time